In the final tutorial, we will cover very important function, grid snapping. Here up at the very top, we have various grid options. We have snap to grids, we have snap to curves, snap to points, view planes, and make the selected object live. If you are familiar with any of the game editors, keeping everything on the grid is very important. It becomes even very important as you are modeling your environments, specifically if you are modeling environments that are going to be used in modular fashion, which they're going to be used to snap together between various objects in order for you to create and reuse certain assets. So if we're going to create a building, uh, we would have a first floor, a second floor, and third floor as separate pieces, and they need to be able to snap together inside the game editor. And everything starts inside a 3D package. And to keep everything on the grid inside Maya, will translate keeping everything on the grid as you are exporting and importing your objects inside a game engine. So let's create a cube and we have our cube positioned right in here. Let me scale it. So now if we move our cube around a viewport it has absolutely no snaps to it. It's just it's free floating. We want to be able to snap our object to the grid. So let's turn on snap to grids. Now if we move our object around it snaps. Another way to do so is if we raise our object, if we want to snap it to the grid, hold down X key and by dragging it up and down and holding down the X key it will snap and stay on the grid. Now as we move our object around we can see that it's not on the grid yet. So if we move it freely right now and if we want to snap it back on the grid we hold down the X key, it doesn't exactly fall on the grid because we moved it off the grid. Uh, so if we want to position it exactly, uh, we can go into the orthographic viewport and uh, we can try to position our object right on the grid, but it's never going to be exactly on the grid as we want it. So in order for us to have our object on the grid, we have a couple of options. One is if we create our object at a specific size and then move it up so it matches exactly to the grid space. A better option would be is to move a pivot point to one of the edges and then snap it that way. So in order to do that our pivot point right now of our object is inside at right in the middle of our object. We want to move our pivot point to one of the corners this also becomes very important to know how to do this so our pivot point matches exactly as we are creating our object so when we import into a game engine the pivot point stays where we are working with the same object inside the game editor by hitting the insert key we can cycle through the pivot point editor so once we go into the pivot point editor here we can move the pivot point by simply dragging the gizmo as we do when we move our objects. But what we want to do, we want to have our pivot point snap to the edge. And in order to do that, we can use the snap to points up right in the toolbar, or we can hold down the C key, and as you hold down the C key, middle mouse click and drag right into the corner. Now we have our pivot point right on the edge, right at the vertex here, and then we can just simply hit the insert key and if we deselect and select again it saves the pivot point. So now we can take our object and we can snap it right on the grid by holding down the X key and as we snap our object down it's going to snap right on the grid plane. So now if we hold down the X key we can move our object up and down and we can snap our pivot point of our object right on and keep ourselves right on the grid as we are building and modifying and then eventually exporting our object. So let's do that again. Let me get rid of this cube and let's cover this one more time. So let's create a cube. Let's increase the cube and let's say we moved it around and we need to position this cube right at the zero zero point. We want to modify our pivot point to one of the corners. So let's do that now again. Hit the insert key. Let's modify our pivot by holding down the C key, middle mouse click and drag right on the corner 
hit insert to save the pivot point now we have it right in the corner and then hold down the X key we click on the grid and it snaps right into the grid and right on the grid plane now we have our object aligned to the grid it snaps to the grid and our pivot point is where we need it so we can if we want to modify we want to scale the pivot point stays at its 0, 0, 0 origin and we can simply scale our object it will scale appropriately we can also rotate and it will rotate from that pivot point so knowing how to snap to the grid and modify your pivot point is very important and now you can begin to modify your pivots and snap to the grid